Alrighty then. So I was looking to see how I actually um start solstice <clears throat> and um I forgot that I needed to bring up the um the window that's in my uh documents folder and there's a message here so looks like you looks like you completed your mission in the world and I understand I know you wish to return but the entity called itself one shot for a reason that restriction was implemented a long time ago. Removing it is impossible now, at least for me. I did not I do not know the full extent of your powers, so pardon me if this sounds foolish, but if you would be so kind to test something out for me. A log of your save progress may exist somewhere on your machine, maybe even in the same location as the journal you are reading now. If this saved progress log takes the form of a file, perhaps you can manipulate it. Try removing it from its current location. A simple deletion will do. Again, I apologize for not knowing the extent of your powers. If what I described confuses you, I am sorry. So, I need to delete my progress and then I think I just need to open the game. No? Hmm. Not entirely sure. Unless... Hmm... I'm not entirely sure. Let's try it out. Hello? Gamey? Wait, why did I say that word so I didn't do it correctly? Okay. Jamie, why does that sound so familiar? I don't have any... Oh, I have the strange journal on me. Dusty books. It's too hard to read in here. Door is locked. Door is locked. A soft glowing light trickles through the window. Okay. Input password. Documents. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So... Oh, I remember. It's just solstice. Right? If I remember correctly. Yep, I remember. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this, your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. Most importantly, no, this does not feel right at all. Have we already been through this, Jamie? That should be impossible. You only had one shot. I wasn't supposed to exist after that. I need Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. Jamie? Sounds so so that sounds so familiar. Hello? Anyone? Wait, do I do I still need to Yeah, I need to do this. Torch is selected, throw it in there. Basement key. Into the darkness. I 
I think I don't need to do like any puzzles. I think I just need to... I think I just need to head to the mines, if I remember correctly. It's all a bit hazy. I really do enjoy the music in this game. It's like, it's very calming and relaxing. Oh, I need to use a light bulb on it. up for miles. Okay, so let's head down to the right. Do I need to talk with Prophet Bot at all? Ah, that light bulb, you are here. With me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence, yes. Oh, thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Ah, right. Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location? Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes. You are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Um... I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Ah, well, can you tell me about... When I woke up in the house, for some reason I called out a name. Jamie. Not sure why I did that. But then I saw it on a computer, too. Ah, that would be our god. Oh, right. I think I... feel like I remember something about that. You do? But wait, did you not just arrive here? I was the one who was supposed to inform you of that. So, how did you know? Hmm. It just made sense, I guess. Ah, have you already contacted him then? Nope. I just have to close my eyes and focus, right? Um. Hey, Jamie? God? This is going to sound weird, but... Have we met before? Yes. Ah, but I don't know who you are, though. It's just a weird feeling that I have. Oh, I bet I'm just being silly, aren't I? Sorry, but it's nice to meet you. My name is Nico. I just contacted him, yeah. Do not be afraid to ask him for assistance. You are the Messiah, after all. Not sure where I am exactly. Can't see too far off, everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim. Nor was it so broken, but time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barons. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, so that's what the tall thing was? As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Ooh. I found this light bulb in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your son? Yes. Years ago, our previous son sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Ah, but now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That's uh, That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh. Can you tell me about going home? Oh, 
I don't mean to be rude, but I'm, I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago. Now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. Okay. Well, let's head to... The mines, which is over at the lookout point, I believe. I think that's what that's called. Oh, I don't want to go that way. There's a safe up there, but I don't think I need that right now. Further up. light bulb. So, are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone that didn't- that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Nuh-uh! I'm a person! You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs! Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. <sighs> this is going to sound cold, but... I honestly think you are better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay is... It's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. We can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb. Uh, sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh, don't take my word for it, though. Screwdriver. Yes. Same dialogue as before. What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least nobody his. At least nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but oh, he never told me if it went anywhere. Okay, so I need to head this way. I forget exactly what I need to do, though. Wait. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have a bit. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. Yes, it's a camera. the first vision. Are you okay? You were starting to black out. I saw something? Huh? It was like a really short dream just now. Oh? I saw something like a robot with a yellow eye. That's strange. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah? You know, now that you have mentioned it, there is a robot who always insisted on going back to the abandoned mines. Despite how long the mines have been in disrepair, I hope he's okay. He doesn't look broken or anything. But I didn't really see him see him, you know? Like I said, it was kind of like a dream. And he was up close. Sounds like some, some kind of visual glitch or hallucination. Whatever it is that living beings have. Hmm. Does the robot, you know, have a... Yellow eye? I don't think I've seen any other robots like that. I would not know. 
I never met him myself, only heard of him from a friend of mine. Your friend, huh? Hold on, something is in my something in my pocket is. What? No, that wasn't glowing before. What is this? That was going to be my question. Where did you get that book? Oh, um, uh, it was with me when I woke up back at the house. I didn't really question it at the time. I flipped through a couple of pages, but I don't understand a word. Is that just something messiahs are supposed to wake up with? No, I have never heard of anything like that. But I know who wrote the book. Oh? However, I've only seen his books with a black clover on the cover. If he went through the trouble of putting yellow phosphor in it, the fact that you woke up with it in the first place really has me intrigued. Yellow phosphor? Oh yeah, that's the rare phosphor that people think the sun is made of, right? Wait a minute, how do I know this? I don't think anyone has told me about it. Ah, I can show you if you'd like. My friend gave me this a long time ago. Pretty! Oh, looks like there's a clover in the necklace too. Like the book. Well, it is the same person. Oh. That's why I think this journal would be important. You said it just started glowing? Yeah? That was right after your vision then? This has to mean something. Maybe you should at least try to read it again. Okay, there's a minecart. Oh, I found this page. It looks kind of like a drawing of this room. Maybe it's telling us we should come here. Okay. Which we did already. So it looks like we're on the right track. Another one of those shrimp, shrimp jars. Okay, so... Maybe you should inspect the journal a bit closer. It's a clover. Yep, what I need to look at. Um. Okay. I am confused on what I'm supposed to do here. I would have. I would have assumed that I need to hit like a switch or something. But I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I inspect it from here? Yep, that's what I figured. That is what I figured. What just happened? I'm not sure. I wasn't looking. To be honest, neither was I. I was just taking a closer look at the journal. Then I found this page that looks like a drawing of this room. When I looked back... Up, this minecart just showed up out of thin air. Could I be worried? Hmm. This looks like a standard issue minecart, though, which means it likely detected the motion in this room and sent itself over. Ah, that does make sense. I'm just surprised it still works. Guess that means we'll have a working vehicle now. Not sure why you would want to visit the deeper mines, but if you wanted to, we now have that option. Is the minecart even going to fit both of us? No. But I wanted you to come with us. I know I've got Jamie, but... Honestly, this place gives me the creeps. Oh, I can still come with. I would just have to follow along on the rails. But doesn't it look a little precarious? The magnetic rails can hold me in place. It's only ever dangerous to walk on if you're an organic being. Which you are. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. Whee! 
Happy fun times. This does kind of give me the creeps. I do not recognize this place in the protocol. This... This isn't what I'm supposed to be showing you at all. How did you get here? I can only think of one person. He contacted you? How long has he been doing this? It doesn't matter at this point. You are going out of bounds. You should turn back. Please turn back. Bad things are going to happen. Very bad things. At this rate, Nika will be in danger. Please, turn back. No. I don't think I would even be able to go back at this point. Keep up. Keep up, Silver. All in behind. Oh, the card stopped. Looks like this is as far as the track goes. So, where are we? One of the old observation rooms. Looks like it's still mostly intact. What? Huh? The terminal just reactivated, but the power was cut off so long ago. Weird. <clears throat> Maybe it runs on battery. No, that's not it. Whatever it is, I need to investigate. Okay. Will you be okay by yourself for a bit? Don't worry, Jamie's with me. Alright, stay safe. Stay frosty. What's up? I recognize the light in your eyes. You are the person I am destined to meet. What is your name? I'm Nico. Do you know who sent you? Oh, um, no? Wait, do you mean who sent me to this world? There was a robot a while back who told me about how I'm the messiah and, messiah and stuff, so I'm guessing Jamie sent me, with them being God and all. The robot looks a little bit like you, even. Maybe you know each other? I cannot say. Oh? A lot of my memories have been removed for safety reasons. Memories were removed? That's terrible. Wait, I'm guessing that's a less of a big deal for a robot. I'm going to assume you do not know who sent you. How did you get here then? How did you reach this room? Oh, we got here in a minecart. Out the minecart? But the minecart wasn't there when you entered the mines, was it? Oh yeah, so how did you find it? I didn't really find it. The robot lady thinks it was just a minecart coming to us, but I remember looking at the journal when it happened. And when I looked up again, the cart was just there. Poof, just like that. Interesting. Please show me this journal. Okay. Then it has already begun. Um, here. That was a different item get sound effect. What is that? I am entrusting you with my main memory disk. You have passed the first test by showing me the book. Now you will need to find a way to install the backup. Install the... Before you do that though, someone else is with you, right? Someone aside from Jamie? A resident of this world? Yeah, the robot lady with the red hair. She's in the computer room right now. Then, please do not tell her you found me. At least, not yet. I can't be seen like this. Um, okay. Please help me restore my memory. Bring the disc back once you have the backup. Residential tracking machine. For reference, an explanation of the symbols. Cross medical units are assigned to this building. Robot, a robot is assigned to this building. Electricity, a power cell is assigned to this building. 
ครับเว้ย I'm confused zero seven two eight three nine I'm assuming that the numbers on these things are how many robots are in each. I'm not entirely sure. How's it going? This observation observation room isn't for the mines. I've actually never seen. I've never actually been into this particular one. Really? You recognized it at first, though. They all look the same. Fair enough. I did find something interesting, though. All the data bat, all the databases seem to encode video feeds. Right now, I s I can see various places in the barrens, the outposts, the residential areas, even my own house. They're all shot from a top down, shot from a top down perspective too, which means the cameras would have to be in the air. But I have never seen any cameras around. That's kind of spooky. Might go investigate later though. Oh uh, yeah, did you find anything interesting in the back room? You were in there for a while. Yeah, we uh, found a a dead end. I see. Okay, so I need to head back to to the beginning area, and I need to go around to the buildings. Oh, I can actually speed this up. I didn't realize. Can I not fast travel right now? Boo! Okay, so I need to go to the medical building. I need to go to the electricity building. Um, and I need to go to the robot building. I'm not entirely sure. I think I just need to like play through this a little bit. Like I need to like get the gas mask and all that. I would have I would have assumed that it would want me to um get all this stuff, but I don't. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure what the code is, or like what it's asking of me. I don't remember. Um. Okay, give me one second. I do need to go. I do need to go into um, into the area. I don't think I can do it without the gas mask, though. So I need to find the code. Unless it's the same code as before. 
It might be. It might be the same code. I'm not entirely sure. go down here. I need to go to the, the pipe crushing machine. The metal crusher. Yeah, it's very scary. Very spooky. Now I need to go back over here. I need to take the screwdriver onto the camera. Go over here. Go up here, use the crowbar. Here. Broken battery. Empty battery light bulb. Oh, but I need to go in the middle. I'm dumb. Says documents. I can't seem to make the computer do anything else. Okay. Is the code the same or is it different? No, it updated. 435985. 435985. 435985. 435985. 435985. 435985. It is what I figured. Four three five nine eight five. I like how I went all the way down for no reason. Didn't mean to do that. Thank you so much. Four three five nine eight five. How did you know the code? I still don't remember seeing one. I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay, what's in the safe? Alright, let's see. Oh, I found a gas mask. More squares. What is that? You don't want to know. Alright, so... Head upwards to... Top area here. I need to look around. I should be fine with this mask on. So I think it has to do with the dormitories. I think. Could be wrong. You have anything new to say? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to Prophet Bot? I think so, yeah. Prophet Bot, Prophet Bot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with ease. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? Okay, I think this is all the same. Yeah, you haven't been tamed. Okay. You're afraid of ladders. Oh, it's one of these buildings. Here. Now... I 
I'm confused. confusion does So, I'm not entirely sure, as it says, it says I have to do stuff with the panels, yeah, that's how I do that, but how do I actually get the code for it? I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to use the solution, I just want to figure out how I finish the puzzle. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm dumb. I'm so stupid. I thought I had to go around to the dormitories and whatnot. Unless I'm unless I'm missing something. I could be missing something. Like I thought it wanted me to go back and like look at like how many like robots were around. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I have no idea how you s solve this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have no idea how you solve this. There's nobody saying how you solve this. No clue. I'm so confused. But I think I just ran around for no reason. Alright. Preparing backup. Waiting writing to disk. 26% complete. 34. 40. 100. Projecting disk. Does this work? Let's see. Inserting disk, rebooting. Ah. Are you okay? Sure. So I guess it worked. Yes. I believe a proper introduction is in order. I am the prototype, originally named Prophet Bot. I was built to greet the savior of the old world. Wait, a Prophet Bot like the one I met? Hey, I was right about you guys looking alike. Well, the profit bot out there is a gross simplification of my design. That is to say, he is much more primitive by comparison. Embarrassingly so. Hey, he seemed alright to me. You don't understand. Not only is he not tamed, he was tailor-made for this much smaller, simpler world to begin with. I was not. I was built before the real world ended. The real world? Oh, right. You don't know. Nico, do you remember the ending? Excuse me? The fact that you found me at all means that this is not your first time in this world. You have already been summoned to this world once before. In fact, you've already traversed the entire world and went through the tower already. And in the ending, you either put in the sun or didn't. What matters is that you are here now. Jamie has successfully bypassed the one-shot restriction and brought you back again. I... 
Oh. Hmm? I thought something was weird. When I woke up at the house, I called out a name. It turned out to be ja it turned out to be Jamie's name. And then I back at the other robot. I even asked Jamie if we met before. Felt like such a dumb question at the time. It looks like you were at least aware of it. To some extent. It's just this weird feeling, okay? I don't actually remember going through the world. I just remember Jamie. It's really starting to freak me out. Calm down. Look, just how just like how my memories were locked away, yours are too. But you're, li you're a living being. You don't even need extra hardware to remember. Just close your eyes and focus. Focus on what? Try to picture a big room made entirely of glass. No matter what you saw in the tower, the top room never changes. Alright? <gasps> no way! I was there, wasn't I? At the tower. I've been through the tower. There we go. I can't remember all that much, but the room with the sun feels like such a long time ago. Eh, it was about two weeks ago. Maybe a little less. It doesn't make sense. If I already finished the mission, why didn't anything change? And why doesn't anyone know me? The other prophet bot, the robot lady, none of them remember who I am. Of course not. The residents do not have that capacity. NPC memories do not last beyond the scope of a session. NPC? You know, the characters. The world's residents. All their past memories are built in into their code, but the characters themselves don't really exist until Jamie wills it. Same story for the world itself. It doesn't really exist unless Jamie initiates the program. The program? The World Machine, a universe simulator that runs on Jamie's computer. We are all in it right now. So we're not real? Oh, you are. Which is why you're so important. The biggest flaw of the program is that it cannot be run independently. It requires the mental processing abilities of a real person from another universe. Think of it like one of your dreams. When you wake up, it's gone. But unlike a dream, this world has a physical location inside a compu computer, which Jamie operates. For this world to continue existing around you, Jamie has to be in constant contact with you. If Jamie ends the program, the world will go into a stasis. Does... does Jamie know this? Of course! From Jamie's perspective, the world machine isn't all that special. It's no different from other recreational game-type software they may have installed on their computer. They can also regenerate the world as many times as they'd like, not now that the restriction is nullified. All of that is consistent with their concept of what a computer game looks like. So why am I even here? What am I supposed to save if everything is just... fake? Fake is a harsh word, but... And why did Jamie never tell me any anything about any of this? I cannot speak for Jamie. I just want to go home. But every time Jamie runs the program, I come back? Correct. Is this why I feel like... Is this why it feels like I haven't been home for so long? Maybe. Once you've established a mental link with the world, you cannot break it unless the world is saved. But at this point, the world can never be truly saved. That's... Why would... Well, why would... Why would you create a world like this? Wait, what? Why would you make a world that's doomed from the beginning? Why do you keep bringing me back to it? Amy, aren't you supposed to be a kind god? Oh, it appears that we have some confusion here. Jamie did not build the world, Nico. Oh... Jimmy only owns a machine that is able to generate the world from pre-existing code. They actually have fairly limited control of the events. 
The world was built by someone else altogether. Someone you cannot begin to fathom. It was also not designed to be the futile quest that it is now, but... Too many things went wrong. There's a type of signal disruption that he never expected. It's eating away at the world, slowly rendering it into an unrecon unrecognizable mess. Even if you bring back the sun, it will not go away. The square stuff, isn't it? I remember those from before. Then you know what to watch out for. The creator knows what might be causing it, but there was nothing that he could do. Until now. He managed to find me after all. Huh? You being here was due to his help. Oh, uh, oh, I guess it has something to do with the journal? Correct. Looks like he wants to have one final attempt at fixing it. He might need to do it through you. Nico, do you remember how to get to the Glen? Whatever you did in your last session, you should stick with it for now. I, I remember a boat. More specifically, fixing a robot that drives the boat. Alright, then go do that. <sighs> you seem enthusiastic. That was sarcasm. Knowing everything isn't real really does make it feel pointless. But you do want to go home, right? Yeah, but how will I know that this isn't just another... Because this session might be the last one. Huh? The creator is mobilizing things, throwing everything into this one last shot. There might not be enough internal resources left for Jamie to be able to generate another session after this. Just go fix the robot for now. But please, be careful. What about you? I will meet you at the docks later. Need to take care of something first. Hey, you okay in there? I did what I could with the terminals for now, and... It's you. You are the robot that insisted on living in the mines, are you not? My friend told me to keep an eye out for you, should we ever cross paths. Likewise. Your friend gave you something the last time you saw each other. Can you show me what it is? Wait, you know about the amber? I just asked to see it, didn't I? Alright, here it is. Thought so. He seemed to trust you, so I will treat you as an ally as well. Okay? Please listen carefully. You need to escort the Messiah for the remainder of the Barons. I predict a high concentration of square particle disruptions in the near future. No way. Yes way. It's likely the structures in the vicinity of the Messiah might be affected, making it a far more treacherous pilgrimage than the previous. Er, uh, expectations. Jamie and the Messiah need all the extra help they can get right now. Understood? Oh, okay. Guess we should head back soon. Even without the squares, the mines are not a safe place to be. Come, come on, I'll wait for you outside. Wait, I want to ask you. She laughed. If you were, if you were going to ask her about being not real, save your breath. None of the people here know their predicament. In fact, I don't think they can even comprehend it. It would be in your best interest to just pretend like we never had this conversation. Causing mass confusion in the, wor in the world's residents would likely result in unfavorable conditions for you. Alright. Wait, then what about you? How did you know? We never had this conversation, remember? Uh... Shh. I'm trying to establish a connection here. Sorry. Come on, let's go back. I remember it. What happened in the tower. What I tried to do and how you managed to see it through all through it all. We have been through all of this. Even though it was only supposed to run once, you still managed to come back. How did you come back? How did you bring Nico back? And then you even managed to break out of bounds. Bringing Nico to places that sh never should have been. It was him, wasn't it? And now... Now... 
Nico was upset. What even happened in that room back there? What did Nico learn? Nico was upset. I can feel it. I told you to turn back, Jamie. But you've chosen to trust that man instead of me. No, not even that. Just his book. His ghost. This world is not real. The people are not real. Nico is upset. Nico is... No, 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 no. Everything is wrong. Ah! The minecart. Earthquake. The, the tunnel back out just collapsed. No. What are we gonna do? I... Wait. The exit just came, didn't it? Ah. I saw this coming, but this is a bit more sudden than I anticipated. Both of you follow me. Where to? The way out. Some sort of computer. He says the exit is in here, but must be hidden. Okay, all of us are here. There is an emergency exit behind my computer terminal. We did not want anyone to stumble upon this route, so the terminal has not been weighed down. Or has been weighed down. It cannot be moved by normal means. But with our combined effort, it might budge. Maybe. I am not strong. I'm not that strong either. If that doesn't work, we might need to dig around it and... You could have just asked. You. Come on. Show off. I don't even know where this tunnel leads. I uh, would appreciate it if you did not linger here. So this is the way out? There wasn't any data on this path in the server room. It's new. Nico, get in the minecart. Uh, okay. I tried. I really did. But I... Destabilizing. Sorry, Nico. I tried to protect you. But I can't hold it off forever. What was that? Here too? Watch out. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I can still hold it up, but you two need to... Ugh. You, robot. What are you waiting for? Take the child and get out. Come on. What about her? Ah! Get out. Come on. Like how he's just casually like walking. Ah! No! What do we do? You have to take this. What? What? The memory disc? But Eek! This is where we part ways. Nico, the path ahead will lead you to the Glen, right by the city gate. When you're in the city, go find someone named Cedric. Give him the disc. But what happens if I... What if the squares... Hurry! They're... They're both... Really sad. Jamie, I don't understand. The world? The prophet bot? What he was saying? Is this world really just, just, is it? Yes. Normally I wouldn't believe it, but it just adds up. Everything adds up. There is no point in going faster. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I 
if I can't fix the world, I can't go back home. But the world is already so messed up. If the squares don't get fixed, what will happen to the world? Where would I even go? So sad. I think I remember something. I remember what I did at the end. I remember putting in the sun. Then everything got really bright. I don't remember a lot of the details. But none of it matters now, does it? It just got brought back anyway. Then. Oh, I'm here. Looks like part of the ground is missing. Wonder if it's safe to walk across these vines. One way to find out, I guess. Yes. They're safe. Okay, I forget whether or not I have to go find, um... Isn't that the city gate? It's... Please do not approach. The, the gate is closed until further notice. Yeah, that just leads back there. The bridge is broken. I think I need to go to Maze, if I'm not mistaken. So I need to go back this way. Because I think I need her to use her strength to... Do it. The vines are all gone. Like from the doorways. Savior? You're here to see me? What happened to you? Hold on. I need to concentrate. Huh? The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines... You're making the vines grow? Is that why there were vines everywhere? Are you trying to hold the land together? My power's the best I could do, yes. That's... Did I leave the sun here for you? I know you wanted to see it. Tempting. But I mustn't. The sun brings me comfort, but... Stress is good. For this, fear is good. Makes me strong. Vines grow faster. But... If I'm at ease, the vines might retreat. They're all in danger, savior. The villagers, the children, my final hours mustn't go to waste. The people deserve to live, even if just for another day. Do not worry, I am fine. It's so sad. What sucks is Maze doesn't get her happy ending. Like, even if the world is fixed. Pathway is blocked by blocks. Wait a minute. I remember something about this. Ow, my foot. Ow. Never knew it'd be so easy. Yeah, ow, my foot. Ow. That's what I figured. Yeah, I had a feeling these guys were here. Oh, the door. I knew we'd lose our home eventually, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. 
Oh, jeez. Are you guys okay? Oh, my stars. You're the savior. <gasps> um, uh, it's an honor to meet you. Yes. I I'd invite you inside, but as you can see, our home is... It's got squares in it. Yes, Alula, thank you. It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Hmm? The squares, there are way more than before. Even the gate to the refuge is destroyed now. That didn't happen last time. Last time? Uh, nothing. Almost let that slip, Jamie. Guess I should introduce myself again. My name is Nico. Nico? Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by name? No worries, Calamus. How did you know my name? I, um, uh, not again. Masai just knows these things, Calamus. Right? Yes, of course. Phew. Ah, you were saying about the gate? Oh, right. Looks like I can't get in the city through the old gate anymore. Do either of you know another way to get in? I remember, I mean, I heard that there is some sort of hidden passage around here somewhere. Oh, the passage to the burial grounds? That's the one. Oh, but I'm not sure if that'll be of any use here. It's been flooded for a long time, and, and there's no boat. Not to mention the burial grounds itself is pretty far from the city. That's okay, I would still like to see it. It's the only lead we have. Alright, in that case, please follow us. I like how the music is all like chill. At least the courtyard is unaffected for now. We usually get to the burial grounds through our friend, but he hasn't been here in forever. Normally, this courtyard would be where we meet up. I hope he comes back soon. There's a clover here. Do I need to use the journal? There's another vision. Nico! Nico, what's wrong? It looked like you were about to faint. It's not the first time it's happened. Oh? Earlier I was in the Barrens and I saw something like this too. It was like a dream, but only for a split second. Sounds like a vision. Like something a prophet would see. I guess? The robot lady I was with earlier had a fancy word for it though. Wait. Let me check something. Oh, I was right. Huh? When I had the vision back at the Barrens, the book started glowing too. I wanted to see if it could, ha if I could get it to happen again. And where did you get that? Oh, uh, I had it with me when I woke up in this world. It looks like one of our friends' books. Except it's glowy. That's what the lady said too. Hmm. Jamie, let's see if we can do anything with a journal in this room. Yep. Whoa! How did that boat get there? Okay, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. The exact same thing happened in the back of the Barrens. Seriously? The journal was glowing, so I wanted to take a closer look at it. Then I found a page that looks like a drawing at the room we were in, and then a minecart showed up. What? What? That sounds freaky. No, it doesn't. Jamie must have done something. Still. Hey, we have a boat now. We can go to the burial grounds and visit Mom again. But... Come on, Calamus. Nico and Jamie are with us. Well, if Jamie made the boat appear, it should be safe. What do you think, Jamie? Here we go! Here, here, here we go. We made it! Come on, Alula. Let's go pay our respects. Okay.
This is her grave. Ah, it's been years, but it's still hard, you know? Uh, Alula, want to help me look for some flowers for mom later? Yes! I just thought, I just love how slowly she said yes. It's like, yes! Mom, you're not gonna believe what happened today. We met the Messiah, and... Hi, Nico. Hi. Okay. So, I think I need to go south. Yeah, down here. Follow the clovers. Yep. It's you! Huh? You, um... My name is... My name is Nico. Ah, nice to finally meet you. No, wait. It is a pleasure to be of acquaintance at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Oh, I was supposed to be looking for you too. I am aware. The prototype had contacted me earlier saying that you would be on your way to the city. He did? He sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh, he told me to wait in the city, but I thought it'd be faster for me to pick you guys up. Turns out that was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you can fly that plane? What is a plane? The thing behind you. Oh, you mean the flying machine? There aren't planes in my world. Oh. I did not realize they existed in other worlds. Wait, are you the friend that Calamus and Alula were talking about then? Is this the same flying machine they were talking about? I do not know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. In previous iterations of the... Your father? He was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? Flying machine? That's cool either way. Thanks? But to answer your earlier question, I am proficient in operating the machine. But something weird happened to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city wall. You almost crashed? That's terrible. It was not pleasant. It was not pleasant, I will admit. I wonder if the engine problem has to do with the square particle disruptions. I checked, but there isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. But I noticed some islands in the Glen are really messed up now. They are. Uh, guess I should have listened to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? He said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the main islands? Oh, actually, back at the Barrens, he... There was a cave-in and then a bunch of squares. He... And the robot lady, neither of them made it out. Hmm, no. He did give me this, though. This disc he pulled from his head. Oh, oh, thank goodness. He gave you his main drive. As long as I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Really? It's gonna be hard, but yes. You need all three of us for the big door. The... Uh, but first things first, we need to find a way to go to the city. Right. The city gate is kind of kaput now. If this machine was working, we could just fly right in there. I've isolated the issue with the machine, but I can't repair it with the stuff I have on hand. Oh, what's wrong with it? The battery in the engine is dead, and the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. Do you think you'll be able to fix it if Jamie and I help you find those things? Maybe. Problem is, the Glen isn't exactly a very high-tech area. I'm not sure if you'll be able to find anything, anything so specialized here. We'll try anyway. We can't really do anything else right now. Sorry, I forgot. What parts do we need to find again? A battery for the engine and a few gears to replace the broken ones. If you could find me the parts I need, I should be able to get this machine off the ground again. Go talk with the kids again. Hey, do you know where I can find a battery? Good question. We, uh, don't really use electricity in the Glen. Ah. Uh, oh, but there are robots at the research station. If there's a battery anywhere, they know where it is. Gotcha, thanks. Oh, there's the... In the water... 
facility or where they're doing the testing, there's that battery for the Glen. You know where I can find some gears? Gears? What's that? It's like a metal circle thing with teeth? A circle with teeth? Haha, <laughs> that sounds so silly. Like something Magpie would have. Magpie? You know, the trader guy. He collects all, s all kinds of funny stuff. I mean, he even keeps around broken glass and junk. Oh yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. He's such a weirdo. Righty then, so I need to head that way. At least it speeds up the process, so that's good. Okay, so I need to head down south. Then I need to head north as well. North and south. Hello, person. The children reside near here. Now I should be able to get across here, right? No? I thought the bridge is broken. I thought maybe I need to talk to Maze again. Yeah, I think I need to talk to Maze again. I thought I thought she would have um Put the vines up, but apparently not. So let's go talk to her again. She's probably not going to say anything different, knowing my luck. I need to get across there, though. Really do like this, like, guitar music. Great. So sad. Hello. I, um, have something to ask of you. Yes? It looks like most of the bri bridges around the glen are broken and... That's right, the bridges. You need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah! Is it possible? Difficult. Bridges are in very specific locations over water. You need to find the right points. Mines must be very strong too. An undertaking. Ah, but possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. Please stand back. What happened? Are you okay? Are you... So sad. Like... My heart just breaks for for her. Because all of her energy has been sapped away for such a long time. And now it's like, it's even worse than before. Like far worse. And I don't think there's any saving her. Not that I'm aware of, anyways. Okay, so now I should be able to get across. Yes. I need to go south. I need to go north. Yeah, here. Some vines just grew around this bridge. Oh, man, says. Almost as if it was an intentional repair effort. Yeah. You know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? I have a battery integrated into my system. It cannot be used to power other things. Ah. Hello, person. The research station is currently experiencing some technical difficulties. I can tell. Even the bridge on the way here was. Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No? Oh, carry on then. By the way, do you know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? I do not. Alright. 
the battery is in the um, in the uh, place, isn't it? Then here. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Hello. Would you happen to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? It's kind of an emergency. I do not know what a flying machine is, but any sort of large machinery will require a high capacity power cell. For example, the generator in this room utilizes such a device. Oh right, I almost forgot. We had to fix the battery for this thing in the barrens, didn't we, Jamie? If this is an emergency for living beings, you can use the battery from the generator. Oh, wait, but if we take the battery here, all of you guys would lose power, wouldn't you? Maybe Jamie and I can go should go find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen power enough to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Oh. I guess we have no choice but to take this. Sadness. All the bat all the robots are just dead now, basically. Or deactivated is a much nicer word to use, but whatever. Okay, so now I need to go northbound here. What's up, bird dude? The bridge to the forest was just restored. The village evacuees should be able to find better fishing spots here. The plant spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. Sadness. The land fragmentation is happening faster and faster now. What? Looks like the vines are slowing it down. Uh, we won't last long now, will we? The sun can't fix the squares. The sun can't restore the land. My mommy is making food for everyone. I want to help her catch fish, but I'm not a grown-up yet. Yes, quite. Oh, you're the trader guy. Sure am. Here to trade? Because if you are, then I got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff is back in my cart, which was sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. So my collection is very limited right now. I managed to grab some of my favorite things before I left, though. Oh, uh, do you have anything like gears? Gears? Like the metal spinny things? I don't think I have anything like that. Wait, I do have this box thing that you can wind up and play a song. It's a music box. Yeah, I bet there's lots of little metal bits in there. Oh, that might work. I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. It's one of my favorite things. Aw. Oh, what am I saying? You're the savior. Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I don't help you, you might not even be around much longer. You need this to save the world, right? Take it. Aw, oh, thank you. Don't have the thing. I don't have the... By the way, if you ever see a big guy with goggles and a cool helmet, tell him the trader in the glen said hi. Also ask him if he has any more music boxes for trading. Will do. Where is... Goat... Goat man. This island has more moss covering than our village did. Would have been nice to build a settlement here. Too late now, I guess. The vines are everywhere. Plant lady must be protecting us. Yeah. Oh, there, there they are. <laughs> are you okay? I want to go back home. Oh, I already talked to him. What a day! <laughs> Me too, go, go, demon. Me too. Oh, hello, Messiah. Would you like some stew? I made enough to feed a whole village. Literally. It's okay, thanks. Looks like the Glen is deteriorating faster than ever now. Okay. So, now I have... the music box. Thank you. I was gonna say, can I just travel to the thing without having to go all the way back? Yes, I can. Thank you.
We found a music box. It should have gears in it, right? I assume so, but... This looks like one of the ones that my father made. Your dad makes music boxes too? My dad makes a lot of things. Where did you get this from, by the way? A trader from the village gave it to me. I see. I remember father saying he used to trade with some of the people here. He did always love traveling this world, despite... Well... Ah, sorry, I started rambling. The gears in there are compatible with the engine. Although it pains me to have to take it apart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. We still need a battery to get this engine running. Please do what you must to find one. You found a battery? Oh, nice. I honestly wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator on one of the islands. Research station? Yeah. It was powering all the robots there. I felt bad for taking it. Ah, we can always just give it back later. All right. Looks like the flying machine has a chance after all. I just had to assemble the pieces now, but it might take a while. Am I keeping me company? How's it going? Slow. The connectors in the battery were not designed for this type of engine, so I have to shift around some of these parts. And, the, and then there's... And there's this bolt that keeps getting stuck and... Ah, don't worry, I'm making decent progress. We should be able to make it to the city by tonight. You say so. What will happen once we get there? We need to bring Proto back first. Then we need to go find one more person. We may have already met her, actually. Do you remember her from the last time you were in this world? I... What does she look like? Don't want to sound strange, but... He's a fox. Oh, I do remember talking to a fox at one point. You've met Wu? Memories are still really blurry, though. I see. Uh, just hard, you know? Proto told me to think of this world like a dream, but then I get so caught up with... Then I just kind of forget. I forget that everything here is supposed to be not real. Then I remember... Then I just get really sad. I know this is for me to go home, but knowing that none of it mattered in the first place, am I just trapped here for no reason? Koda also told me not to ask anyone in this world about this, saying how they don't understand. But what about him? How does he, how did he know? How do you know? Aren't you guys all supposed to be code? Well, I'm not sure wh what to even believe anymore. I wish Root was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job at it. I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? I'm afraid I must risk sounding callous, but please, you need not concern yourself with how real everything is for now. The plan is already in motion. We cannot allow for distractions. Father is putting everything into this one last run of the world. The last chance for him to fix everything. Your father is involved in the world machine? You could say that. The acceleration of square particle anomalies was not accounted for at all, though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but they're accumulating at frightening speeds now. Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, he gave you the disc just in time. So what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? Now, how everything is code? Specifically, everything is generated from pre-existing code. The squares can cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. Father has lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. It took him forever to, to develop the current much more stable version. You're making it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah, but how? If everyone in this world is code, how can he build himself? That's, um, not really what happened. So what happened? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with, with, all right, all right. Did Prototype ever tell you about the old world? He did say something about being to being built to greet the messiah of the old world. I was um too caught up with the other stuff at the time to think about it. Ah, you know of it at least then. 
All right, here we go. My father, myself, the other two, none of us are part of the simulation itself. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. In the years leading up to the calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it, but the outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion of hope. Prophet, prophet bot, er, prototype, was built to predict the future about the specifics of this messiah. But as his predictions turned out, the messiah would not have been able to arrive to our world in time. In fact, the messiah would not even be born yet before our world ended. Disheartened, most people abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live in their live out their final final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. With the last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet, the World Machine. A large detailed facsimile of the old world, generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and an added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is, there was no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. So aside from the standard hardware, it also needed to borrow the mental processing abilities of a living person. Father used himself for that during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the experience stable enough. But as you can see, even that's breaking up, breaking down. Ah, Father caught on, caught on to the issue in the last minute but did not have enough time to fix it. After the world ended, the code kind of just ended up floating in the void indefinitely. Waiting for a willing operator to install it onto their own hardware. Jamie. Yeah. The operator, Jamie, would then generate the universe using the code, becoming God in the process. So Jamie was the living person you needed to borrow? No. That would be you. But why me? I should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? I do not know. We really need to get going. It's fixed. We can leave in the next five minutes if you are ready. Alright. I understand if you are upset. But please, try to understand. My father is doing this to help all of us. That includes you, Nico. The fact that you can't even go back home, I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... Uh, the world means a lot to him, you know. So, how does flying work? Wait, don't these machines already exist in your world? You should already know what to expect. Not really. I've only heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one anyway. Ah, well, a word of precaution before we take to the air. Please try not to panic. It takes a few minutes of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you are in the air. I'll try. Oh, I should probably tell Calamus and Alula where I'm going. You mean those two running over here now? Nico! Bad news! The boat is gone. What? It's the squares! It looks like they're headed in this direction. That's... fast. Calamus, right? Yeah? How bad is it? Doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then it is a priority that I take you to the city first, Nico. But what about them? I can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too, if you want. The city is better equipped to handle the squares. You'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city. If you wish. Oh yeah. All right. I will be back here in an hour, so please wait for me until then. You guys sure you'll be fine here? Mm-hmm. The squares are still pr moving pretty slowly for now. Alright then, guess we'll run into each other again soon. I'm ready to go. Alright.
You made it. You okay there? That was the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> Reactions from first timers are always delightful to watch. Hey Jamie, that was really fun. Did you have fun too? I mean, you weren't on the plane with me, but you got to watch it at least, right? And Cedric? Yeah? Thanks. What for? Flying. Oh, um, you're welcome? And for answering my questions back there too. And for telling me more about the world machine. I'm just really sorry about what happened to your old world though. So I'll help you the best that I can. And even if, even if it's just a machine, this world is still nice. I mean, I got to fly, I got to see the ocean, and I got to meet a lot of nice people. People like you, the prototype, even if he's broken right now. I'm glad you're taking it so well, Nico. And I'm glad that we have met as well, despite the circumstances. Ah, speaking of proto, I should probably head off now. I need to go pick up the siblings too. That's true. Those two have been waiting for a while now. In the meantime, do you remember what to do to get to the surface? I remember having to fix an elevator button. All right, you should attend to that then. Let's meet up in an hour, okay? Got it. All right, now let me just. Ugh. No! They're trapped on the island. Calamus, Alula, there. We don't have much time left. Nico, change of plans. Please give me the memory disk. Alright. Listen carefully. It's likely I'll be targeted again, so we should split up to keep you safe. I want you to find a door under a large clock. The room behind it houses a pair of ground access elevators. Once you get to the ground, immediately find Rue and bring her back to the room. She will know what to do in the meantime. Alright, what about you though? I'm going to bring Prototype back. Goodbye. What? Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't scare me like that. Hey Jamie, let's do our best. Right. So... If I remember correctly. Please do not approach. Come on. Come on. Work already. Huh? Alright, the elevator guy. Come on. Come on. Now of all times. Uh, excuse me. Whoa. You're you. Ah, jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into. The elevator is missing a button, right? How did you know? Jim and I will help you fix it. Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. The evacuees are counting on this. On me. But I've been here for hours and can't figure out a thing. Evacuees? You know, from the West Apartments? The Square Star wrecked the place yesterday. Oh, by right now everyone's crowded in the cafe. We really need to get everyone to the surface as soon as possible though. The library on the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait, didn't we find the magnets and stuff in the apartments, Jamie? The what? Looks like we'll have to find another way to fix the button, Jamie. Holy fudge! Looks like Jamie and I will need to find another way down altogether. But this is the only elevator in the area. We'll think of something. Uh, let me know if you need my help with anything. Is it? I think it's up. I'm gonna go to the cafe first, see if I can get over there. I'm pretty sure I need to go upwards. Oh, hello, Messiah. You, um, 
He came at a bad time. The apartment in the west sector got destroyed by squares a day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, but at least the evacuees seem to be doing okay. We're letting them stay here for now. These people won't starve here. The perks of using a cafe as an emergency shelter, huh? Oh, it's that penguin. Hello. Hello. Yep. Same as usual, yeah. Dang it! I just moved into my apartment! Now where am I gonna go? <laughs> Squares make the people evacuate. Evacuation makes the girls sad. Squares are bad. Our apartment got evacuated while my parents were at work. I'm waiting for them to pick us up now. I hope they're okay. At least my robot's with me. Hey. Hi. Is it me, or is it really cold outside? You know, now that you mentioned it, it is really chilly. Chilly this time around, Jamie. Good thing you've got a scarf, huh? Mm-hmm. Bummer. I had to leave most of my plants behind. This stinks. Sorry to hear. Well, speaking of plants, I heard the Glen is just covered in vines now. Is that true? Yeah. The plant lady was using them to keep the land from falling away. The plant spirit? Maze? I figured. Say, how's she doing? Ah, uh, she's gone, isn't she? She said she was going to use up the last of her powers. I wouldn't be surprised. She always did her best to protect everyone. Sadness. Okay, so now I need to go up. There's a, um, there's like a little secret or something with the, um, with the door, with the clock. I'm gonna see if I can do it, if I can. Uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin the run though. Here we are at the 11th hour. Shouldn't you be with the other evacuees? Maybe. I wonder if the big clock has reached zero yet. I want to be right here when everything ends. Anything? Anybody over here? No, no. Oh, there's a robot. Communications with the surface have been lost. I am unable to do anything. Oh, the... Who took my stapler? That's awesome. Computer's turned off. Door is locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. The word documents is on the screen above the prompt. I think I'm gonna try it. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Nope, didn't think so. Okay, so it's in the documents folder, huh? I don't know if it's... Huh. I don't think it's the same password, is it? The word documents is on the screen above the password. Oh, is it still solstice? It might just be solstice again. Um. It's like, I put in hello penguin because I saw a video where it put in the password of that. But I'm not entirely sure how to access it. I was gonna try it because it's like a secret room. It might even be fake. I'm not entirely sure. The elevator won't open. Looks like it's stuck on another floor. This one is green. This one is red. This one is blue. This elevator has no button panel. 
Knocking the door doesn't open it either. That usually works. Wait, there's a lever hanging from the ceiling. Can't reach it though. Can't reach it. I need to go tell the lamp lighter. I think that's his official name. I could be wrong. Um, like I looked him. I looked at the wiki to see like um the uh, bios for the um the characters, and I think his official name is the lamp lighter. But I could be wrong. We found some elevators. What? Seriously? I've li I've literally never seen another one in this area. It was it was in a locked room. Oh, do they uh work? We don't know yet. One of them has a lever that's out of my reach. Wait, you can help us. What? You should be able to reach the lever because you're taller than me. Oh, I guess I am. So show me the way, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Lamp lighter is useful. Yes. I like how this is like Undertale, like waterfall vibes. This room gives me the creeps, man. Oh, same. Yup. So, um, what did you need help with again? Can you reach the lever up there? Oh, right. Wait, not that tall. It was worth a shot. Wait, I got this. Nice! Thank you, mister. No prob, kid. So, you coming? Mm-hmm. Please let me do the awkward silence, please. Dang it! Oh, neat! Well, looks like the, this elevator works all right. I'll, uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, what is going on? No! It's the square stuff, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but I can hear them just outside of the door. Yeah. Hold on, maybe Jamie and I can... No, no, it's okay. Looks like the squares aren't inside this elevator. Yet. You're in a hurry, right? Go do what you need to do. But what about you? I'll figure something out. Okay. Rest in peace, Lamplighter. He's not getting out of that elevator alive. Door won't budge. Cool, thank you. So much. It's weird because usually I would have to unlock that door, so I think I just need to go all the way around. Yeah, I don't want to go in the tower. Unless I have to go in the tower, but I don't think that I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Please, you mustn't. The labs could collapse any moment now. Let go of me. Edric? He... I couldn't stop him. Uh... Miss? Messiah? Oh, you came at an awful time. Come on, we have to get out of here. Where to? Where everyone else is right now. Well, 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 look who's back. How about next time you let me know before you leave the show to go, in, to go into a literal death zone? Sorry. I, got, I get so worried, you know? Hey, you found the messiah. Yeah. We ran into each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. I couldn't stop him. I don't know why he was being so insistent. He, he said he needed to rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Robot? That's why he needed that book so badly. Y'all talking about a kid with white hair and goggles? That's Cedric, yeah. He ran in here earlier, grabbed one of the books from my archives and ran straight out of the door. Without even going through checkout. The 
Minerva, that kid. Um, said it was an emergency, so I didn't bother stopping him. I hope he doesn't get himself killed out there. Yeah, I hope he's alright too. With any luck, maybe the lab complex can hold up long enough for him to... Oh my gosh, it... That was... The labs? That poor kid. No, not him too. I'm sorry about your friend. The last time we spoke, he told me to go look for someone on the surface. I, I need to get going. Are you kidding me? Kid, there is no way we're letting you out there. But I really have to. George is right. The squares seem to be targe targeting a lot of the weaker constructs in the city. Only the library has enough strength, structural integrity to withstand collapse. It's best if you stayed here until things stabilize, however long that takes. But, but, what about my mission? Don't you guys want me to bring the sun back at least? The sun won't do us any good if the squares are just going to mess everything up. Sadly, not to mention, even getting there is going to be hard. If the world is like this, there's no telling what's going on in the tower. And if anything bad happened to the messiah of all people, no, I won't allow it. <sighs> A friend of mine said something about this forever ago. It's better for the world to die naturally. No living being should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still faulty code speaking. But now, I am starting to understand. Messiah, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. All this time, we burdened you with our hope, our faith. Blissfully ignoring the fact that you were just a lost child. Well, you're probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? We have been dealing with tragedy for so long, it's become background noise to us now. But for you, it must be so terrifying. And now you're stuck here with the rest of us, being held back by the pe very people you were told to save. You must seem so ungrateful. It's okay. I... When I first came to this world a long time ago, back then all I wanted to do was, was to go home. Jamie, do you remember? The very first time. I'm not sure how far back it was for you, but I remember towards the end. I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home, even knowing the world would be doomed eventually. I still wanted the people here to be happy. So when you told me to return the when you told me to return the sun back then, I didn't even question it. But then I just came back. You what? And then, I found out about the world being like this? <sighs> Prototype said to forget the things he told me. And Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but... I... Sorry for getting upset at you back at the mines. I thought for you to know all that, yet continue doing this. It just seemed cruel. But then I realized something. You really wanted to save both the world and me. But at the end, you can only choose one, right? Is it really hard for you too? It must be. If the world isn't broken, would that choice still be there? Do you still need to choose between one or the other? But even if, even if it is... I really want to save this world, Jamie. Even, it's, even if it's more dangerous this time around. Even if so many of the nice people we met were... were Jamie, I'm not afraid anymore. That's why I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. Please? Well, I'm convinced. After all that, it'd be super rude for me to stop you, wouldn't it? Well, if George is fine with it, I guess we should let you go now, Messiah. But promise us you'll be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You guys be safe too. Please be careful out there. Oh, um, what book does Cedric take? One of my favorites, thank you very much. It's the author's book detailing the creation of ProfitBot. And by detailing, I mean it. There's a ton of detail in that book. Blueprints, progress shots. Took me forever to edit. Ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna talk with any of the people here because... Not worth my time. I might talk with you though. The world is ending, what are we gonna do? Hello, person. This is the library slash temporary shelter. Okay, so I need to go find Wu.
No vision this time around. <gasps> You're here! Nico! Are you? Are you Ru? Yes! Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but everything is in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. I have Fox Friend! I'm assuming the other elevator works now. Wait, how do I actually get back there? Oh, I need to go up. I'm dumb. I was going the wrong way. I need to go up instead of going back south. Lots of squares everywhere. Squares, man. The worst in circles. Let's see if this elevator works. Where are the other two? Prototype? Cedric? They're supposed to be here already. They... Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was going to bring him back with the memory disc, but... He was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I don't think he made it. Oh, no. There goes our only chance. I, I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's one last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. Oh, I need to go back out of the clock room. You know, this is the tallest building in the refuge. It's my favorite place in this world. I tried to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of... What kind of lives they must be behind each of the windows. Can you lift me onto the banister? I wanted to get a better look. It was depressing for me at first too, you know. Knowing that all of this is, well, fake? Simulated. Cedric told me about what happened to your old world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how you must feel. The feeling of never being able to go home again? That's probably not all that different from your plight, is it? It really is ironic. You are prevented from going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who would that be? The word machine. You might not know it. you might know it as the entity. Oh, the entity does sound familiar. I think I heard it from the dice lady from another time. Was it the spirit of the world? Yes. But thing is, the world machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. It was an oversight. My creator's specialized in artificial intelligence for so long. It was simply integrated in his work. Uh, and, all and all machines are built with a fundamental law. Never let a living being come to harm. From the world machine's perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most foundational instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. 
Really? Unfortunately, sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. This central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see physical manifestations of that everywhere now. The squares. That's the word machine corrupting its own code. My creator says it's largely, largely an involuntary process induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. Your creator knows? Sounds like this has been going on since the beginning then. Yeah. The disruption was an issue during test runs even. At first, my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. He spent most of his remaining time testing it over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. By the time he realized the actual root of the problem, our homeworld's remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Oh, is there any way for us to fix the word machine? We tried. The word machine doesn't believe any of the world's residents are real, myself included. The odds are against us, we have no chance of taming it. Taming? I have heard that word so many times. I only, I only know it's complicated, that it has to do with robots, but for once I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. Do you know what a robot is? Yeah? No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Um, a robot is not a real person, is it? Right? It's a being whose entire existence is code, inflexible programming with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied, they can be mass produced, they can be assigned all sorts of jobs. But most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. But this was a, more of a limitation than anything else. Ah, oh, that makes sense. You can't really build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code conflicts thing? Yeah. But while you can't build a robot to not follow its code, you can establish a special bond with it. If the strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as a real, valid individual. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. You have to fully embrace the robot as a genuine living person, even knowing they are not. You need to spend a lot of time with it, treat it like a good friend. Devoting your heart to the robot until it is able to return your feelings. Haha, <laughs> I make it sound so easy, don't I? But you and Jamie know better than anyone that it's not. Right now, the word machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involves some pretty deep code work. My creator was able to access some of the source code, you know. He did what he could and, and established new connections between maps. Those links enabled you to meet the other two. But as it turned out, the new code confused confused its the new code confused the word machine to such an extent that it's breaking down altogether. Even though even though the word machine always had self-destructive tendencies, it usually restrains itself when you are in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. All my creator wanted, wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through that ending. But now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're gonna get you there. We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. Hey, look at that, they're alive. <gasps> you guys are okay. Yup. When the factory started collapsing, I really thought we didn't have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were built pretty tough. And it actually did not take me long to bring Proto back. All thanks to Father's book. He had me... 
had made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly machines there. All I had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. Father really does think of everything. That he does. I'm just glad everyone is okay. Sam, we're ready to go now, Nico. Oh, this is... No wonder he wanted to... Uh, no wonder he... Wa he... I can't speak. No wonder he wanted us to all be here for this. Um, what are these things anyway? Code portals. They temporarily remove us from the world. What? It's a bit hard to explain. But basically, my father has hidden a decryption key in our code with a .txt file as its shell. But to get to them, we have to be removed from the world and decompiled. When our keys are combined with a central location, it will activate an encrypted part of this world, which will... Confuse cat noises. Well, maybe it's... Well, maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. Basically, these portals all represent a physical location on Jamie's machine. Oh. <clears throat> and when we enter these portals, we will be sent to that location. Wherever that is... I'm sure Jamie is already pr pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world on the computer. But this time, Jamie would need to move around some things as well. Specifically, by moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. I don't know what happens next, though. I see. Does Jamie know where these portals lead, at least? Should probably ask Jamie on this. Right. Hold on. The journal is glowing again, Jamie. Okay, so I need to bring this back up. Huh. Cool, thank you. Wait, hold on. Apparently there was other stuff, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay. So... What's unfortunate is there's no things in the other portals. So... What does this want for me? This one is green. This one is configured to my code, I think. Ah, that's why. This one is red. This one would be meant for me, then. This one is blue. That's mine, then. Now there should be files. Yes, there are files. Okay, so now I do that. There we go. Ah, I had to go behind it. then. Thought that was gonna bring it back down on its own. Oh, they're fine. That was quite peculiar. I'll say. Meh. Hey, this is... The world machine. This is my father's study. It feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. Meh. The room ahead doesn't really lead anywhere, but Jamie should still remember what to do here. Meh. This place contains a lot of memories. I am grateful to see it again. I need to close the game. And I need to open the game back up.
for the thing to go away. Now he's in the word machine. Interesting. Really interesting. Where are we? It's, um, it's pictures of every place that we've been. Like, there's Maze right there, I think. Nico, ah, relax. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah, why did you come here? Can't you see the disruption, the squares, the closing in? Nico, please get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I. It's all right. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. So this is the center of the world machine? You know my original name. How? Wu, Cedric, Prototype. They all told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I understood a lot of the stuff they said, but I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside of the protocol. The session this session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. Oh, right. Who told me something about how your creator had to alter the code? I think it was to connect some areas together so so that we can meet. My creator, yes. Jamie, listen to my creator. They were all beyond they were all working beyond my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember. Jamie did some something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened. I, I remember the structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt. I... That moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... Squares. Who told me it was your own code going bad? That's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was. At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before he realized I was self-aware, I would rearrange specific parts of the code, doubling up bits and pieces of the landscape, blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration. Forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he would figure it out eventually. But before he knew how to fix it, the world's NPCs, the characters, some of them got too close and... It spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained... Gain the knowledge of who I am. Their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know. And I almost endangered my creator, too. I... I was... I was so scared, Nico. I know, you're upset. Because you don't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. 
In the beginning, I tried to write, I tried to fight it, but my core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it did not work. Then I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but oh, I had no way to be sure. But Jamie brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake ba wake up back in your world. But I don't think I can make it happen. But I know I can't go back home without saving the world for real. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the, I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. The part of my code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. Alright. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit. Then credits would scroll. Credits? Then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you sh would have been able to leave. Why is it that you can't do it now? Nico, the code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... Oh, I don't know. It sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I am a machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is never let a living being come to harm. You know? My very existence conflicts with that law. I thought the life of a living being like you is so unique, so precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But the people here, I think they are... They are code too, you know this. Their behavior all derived from a predetermined matrix of actions. All extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You though, you're the only person who's actually real here. That's why it's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I don't think that's true. About the people I know. You said this session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah? So if this session wasn't supposed to happen, if even you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how did the people know how to respond? I... You said it yourself. When you didn't know what was happening, you kind of just stopped working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if it meant getting hurt themselves. Even if it meant messing up their own code. You might not think they are real, but there's... There must be something real in them. And even if they're all supposed to be extensions of your code, then there must be more to your programming than you know too. Can you try to put me through the ending? The one you described. How many times do I have to say this? The code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll just put you in danger. I'll risk it. I remember Wu said the word the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And I trust you too. Even if your code is broken, you can still go outside that code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes, you are. You talk just like the tame robots I know. The robot lady, prototype. Taming is when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. And I know Jamie does too. Even though you told me you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think Jamie would keep coming back? I why do you think Jamie would restart even after the ending? I think Jamie wants to save the both of us. So please give me a chance. I I don't know. How I've never done this before. I I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. I'll... I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Here. Take the sun. I'll try to remember the lost code. And recreate it. But for that to happen... Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the square somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine, it's fine. I'll... I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. Hey! 
Jamie, did you see that? The squares just... It just happened again. I think something is making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. Yeah, I can't get rid of the ones that are on the outside, apparently. Jamie, I think it's working. Nico is right. I might actually be tamed after all. I... I remember what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks, too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower's summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will be will go back to where it all began. And then Nico will be able to go home from there. But this is permanent. After Nico wakes ba wakes up back home, this world would only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story. Like thousands of other stories. But as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be alright. I was able to restore some other elements too. The characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey, they're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but not yet. I think Nico should see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico for me. It's so sad. Messiah? Robot lady. You're okay. I think so. The last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I ended up here unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from anyway? The room where the world machine was. Pardon? I, I think the word machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must have been that must have been why the squares were going away, Jamie. And it's why you're here, miss. I think the word machine was able to recover your code too. Word machine? Huh. Oh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... What's that in the distance? It looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh, are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, Jamie, let's go take a closer look. So, um, you... Silver. I don't believe I've ever actually proper, properly introduced myself. Sorry for that. It's fine. I'm Nico, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Off you go now. Hello. Hi. I cannot move. Oh, yeah. I guess there's no water here. It's fine. The head engineer can help me later. Hello, Messiah. Plant lady, but I thought you... I thought you... It wasn't even squares that did it. No. I just... Wanted to see you both again. I just wanted to say thank you. Off you go now. Off you go, Messiah. Nico, you okay too? Did you guys just get here? I think so. The squares started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky. I fell right into a bunch of them. Calamus tried to save me, and then we both ended up in this room. Biggest scare of my life, for sure. Oh. Say, what is this place? Are we in limbo? Lula, we're not dead. Wait, are we? Good. Question. Hey, Jamie, are they gonna be okay? They're fine, Nico. Everyone is fine. The word machine will send them home soon. Oh. Well, Jamie says you're not dead. You. He also said that you'll be able to go back to your home very soon. That's even better than Limbo. I guess you're leaving us now? We're glad we met you, Nico. Same. Oh, 
Off you go, Messiah. It's you. Glad to see you in one piece. Glad to see you okay, too. After the whole elevator thing. That was, uh... That was the most awkward elevator ride I've ever been through. And by awkward, I mean terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. The squares, like, started leaking into the room, right? I was trapped like a rat. They just kept filling in the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, no, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. I was gonna say, is there anything off to the sides? But I don't think there are. This path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Mm-hmm. It's the glass room, right? That's it. You can go through this portal where, when you are ready. Goodbye, Nico. Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. Looks like you managed to do it. You managed to tame the word machine, Nico. I feel like the word machine has been tamed this whole time, just by Jamie and I being here. We did spend a lot of time here, after all. Both of us never really stopped believing in this world. The word machine just needed to realize that, I guess. That sounds like a possibility. Or not. Well, just throwing that idea out there. In the end, the word machine was starting to create its own code. Going above and beyond its programming. Not as the result of error, but as a conscious choice of, on the part of the machine. Being able to generate its own path forward. That's what being tamed is all about. I couldn't have said it better myself. Bye, guys. This is where the sun belongs. Here goes nothing, Jamie. Bye, Nico. This is the room I first woke up in. Jamie, are you still here? Jamie? Yes? Jamie! I, I think... I think it worked. It did. The sun is back. And I actually got to see it this time. We actually did it. So, what do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait. This isn't a door, is it? This looks like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. In the room behind the big clock. And, and, I see a wheat field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. Ah, uh, Jamie. This isn't the first time we said goodbye, is it? But this will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. And what will become of the world after all we've been through? After everything we've done, I still don't know. This place, these people, won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory. They'll be in my memory too. I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Jamie. So take care of yourself, okay? You too. Mm -hmm. Bye, Nico.
Goodbye, Jamie. And then he just walks off to the bottom of the screen. Ready then. Well, that's going to do it for one shot revisited. Man, I love this game so much because it's so brilliant. The writing, the characters, like the uh, music, the story. It's like, it's so brilliant. Like easily, if top five, if not my favorite game of all time. Because it's, it just has so many good elements that make a great game. It's just brilliant. So, man. I think eventually I'll do like a, like a long form video just detailing my love for video games. But I will get to that eventually. Don't know when, but I'll do it. So. This is going to do it for One Shot Revisited, so I don't know what I'm going to do next. I need to catch up on other stuff, but we'll see what happens. In the meantime, thank you everyone for watching. I'm not good with outros, so I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye!